There's good news for renters this morning with the average cost of renting in Perth continuing to drop, but it means more pain for landlords. Domain's senior economist Dr Andrew Wilson joins me live now. Good morning, Andrew. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Well, thanks. In the past year, the average rent for a house in Perth has fallen $30 and $25 for a unit. Is it likely to keep falling? Well, look, we've really seen a reversal in the rental market in Perth over the last 18 months. We had very sharp increases in rents in 2013 and early 2014. Of course, that was driven by those eastern states job seekers looking to take advantage of that very strong economy. Uh, now, we've seen the, uh, the reverse of that where uh, there hasn't been the same level of demand. Rents are now falling backwards and um, it is a good news story for tenants, but not so good news for uh, for investors and we are seeing vacancy rates in Perth at the highest at any capital city uh, mm. at the moment. Yeah, so Perth is trekking the bund of rising yes. rent prices across much of the nation. Well, look, another factor is Perth actually has very strong first home buyer numbers in comparison to the other capital cities. So that demand driver is also falling back. Uh, and that's something that's taking pressure out of the rental market as well. Mm. Look, the real insight to this is whether we'll see investors start to leave the market, which, of, co of course, would put downward pressure on house prices. Yeah, well, I mean, is there any chance of seeing any signs of evening out in Perth? Well, look, I still think that there's uh, some way to go with falling rents. Uh, we do have um, low interest rates, which is continuing to drive incentive from first home buyers uh, and higher levels of construction. So the, uh, the supply side continues to move ahead of demand. So I do think we'll continue to see a downward trend in rents, which mm. is good news for tenants, not so good for landlords. Well, let's see, talk about the cheaper rents. Is there an incentive for people to to go out and buy their first home or even get into uh, the property market? Well, I still think there's plenty of incentives for home ownership uh, versus renting. Uh, of course, there's security of tenure, there's tax advantages uh, that, uh, that drive people towards uh, owning rather than renting. And there is a, a very strong cultural connection to home ownership in Australia. And look, Perth is the, uh, mm. is the capital that has the strongest levels of first home buyers uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the country. So uh, there is a strong culture here. So I don't think there's a great difference between renting and buying. That will cause any shift towards renting over buying. And just finally, Andrew, what about uh, people with investment properties? Uh, if they are struggling to find tenants, what's the advice to them? Well, look, I guess you've just got to work with the market and try to become competitive as, a, as an investor in a market where there is not a lot of competition amongst uh, tenants for property. So uh, I guess you just wait this uh, scenario out. But look, most investors do tend to take a medium to longer term view of their investment asset. So uh, this is part of the, uh, I guess, the ebb and flow mm. of being a, a, an investment property owner. All right, Dr Andrew Wilson, thanks so much for your time this morning. My pleasure.